spots. The first thing we do in Thailand, we go get ice, ice cream. cream. <laughs> oh yeah, get into it, Bob. <laughs> so our first few days in Thailand. Oh boy, it was a big lead up getting here and really stressful, lots of work, very tired, a little bit scary, all of that, but then finally we made it here. We were here. It's the end of a very long day, but we're here in our hotel quarantine. Uh, we started in hotel quarantine. We're having a random little breakfast of bits and pieces we have. And we don't have a table to sit at, so we're just on the floor, trying not to make too much mess. We didn't have to quarantine for two weeks, so you know, there was at least that. The um, restrictions started significantly easing by the time that we were looking at getting here. There was just so many new things to learn. Everything was new, everything was a novelty. Like in the hotel, I was like, oh, we've got a kettle, that's great, but there's no milk for my tea. The fact that they provided tea and coffee, I'm pretty happy with, but there's no milk for my tea. And, and it turned out, yes, actually there was. I just didn't know that's what it was. <laughs> they have satchels of powdered milk that they use. Um, and I, yeah, I just thought it was like some kind of flavoring that you put in with your coffee or something. Just little simple things like that. It was like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was kind of like being a toddler again. Everything was just a new experience. You didn't really know what was going on. We were very reliant on other people to help us and show us things. Um, you know, we couldn't communicate properly. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was really like being a little kid. So in a lot of ways, difficult and frustrating, but yeah, there was a lot of um, excitement and joy and just even like seeing the different insects and the different flowers that were around, like everything was just a new experience for us. Thankfully buying stuff was pretty easy because the numbers in Thailand, the letters aren't the same but the numbers are. They do actually have Thai numbers but they don't really tend to use them. They use the same as what we use um, in Australia. And so you just match up whatever they're saying to your money in your hand and it generally works out okay. And also a lot of the shop owners and stuff, even if they don't speak English they can say numbers in English as well. And, you know, if all else fails, you can just write the number on a piece of paper. So, yeah, buying things wasn't a problem. Everyone was hot. Thank you, Six. 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 You're a bit hot, Rachel. <laughs> so, we came here during the hot season. And even if we hadn't, like, we come from a cold place. The children have lived their entire lives in the snowy mountains. And so, for them, going to school in, you know five, six degrees without a jumper is not unusual. And just for the record, I would tell them to put a jumper on and they would be like, I'm not cold, and run out the house. And it's like, okay, sure. So they were very well acclimatized to the cold and not acclimatized to the heat whatsoever. So I was a little concerned how that was gonna go. And yes, we all struggled to start with, but especially the kids, gosh, they acclimatized quickly and well, so I'm super grateful for that. But yeah, first few days, very hot. We were pretty exhausted from travel, like, you know, of course you would be. Everything was very all over the place because, um, yeah, we were in the hotel quarantine and then for the first uh, about week, we were staying with Wolfgang and Diane Sue, so thank you so much for housing us for that time. Starting to feel somewhat organised, so I've organised some of our bags and because everything was just kind of everywhere, some of the kids stuff was all in together and oh gosh, it was just... <laughs> so this is where me and my husband are sleeping, this is where Jessica is sleeping. We have a fan, <laughs> which gosh, oh, it's so hot, <laughs> sleeping at nights bit difficult so this is where three of oh no we had three of the children sleeping in here and that was proving a bit difficult so this is kind of their room at the moment their clothes are in the suitcase and stuff and Jessica's got some clothes up there um it's so nice now to just be like okay I need clothes for this child and actually be able to find them so Ben and Zoe are now sleeping in here Rachel's sleeping downstairs at the moment so she's just <laughs> sleeping on the couch got these 
super unsafe stairs. So what we're all concerned about is Jessica falling down this side, right onto those tiles there. So we really have to watch her with the stairs, but she's been pretty good, I must say. Hello. <laughs> Are you cleaning? Good job. And these guys are all reading at the moment, so we're counting that as their schoolwork for today because we're still not quite organised enough to properly be doing the schooling, so we're just doing what we can until we get settled in. The idea was we would stay with them until we found our own place, which we managed to find really quickly, which was really good because I wanted to be able to do that so that we could sort of settle everyone in as quickly as possible. But no one really thought we were going to find a place within a week, though secretly I did because I'd been really praying about it and I knew it was an important part of getting our family settled. So I had a lot of faith for getting a house and I've... Be, I've done a video on that but I'm doing a more detailed one on it so you'll get to watch that. So like I said my kids grew up in the snowy mountains which is a very sort of country area. For them even going on an escalator is exciting. This is like the fifth floor <laughs> and it's the final floor. Jessica there's a pretty lights. Pretty lights? the kids were like oh god can we ride the escalators and they would just go up and down and up and down and so you can imagine their excitement when we move to what is a city like a big city so everything was just like so exciting and going into the big big supermarkets was like whoa <laughs> And like even seeing traffic lights, like we don't have traffic lights in the town town that we're from. So, you know, that was exciting for them. And yeah, so big, big excitement just um, being in the city. We did bits and pieces of school here and there, but not really for the first week. Like it was just about sort of the surviving and getting used to where we were and, you know, finding clean underwear and you know, we, we had priorities. They were just learning so much other stuff you know they were learning how to navigate through airports and how to tell if your flight is coming on time and Rachel came down to the laundry mat with me so that we did laundry and so she learned how to do that I mean a lot of 20 year olds wouldn't know how to use a washing machine so yeah handy life skills that they've picked up we did lots of exploring went for lots of walks we're getting rained on but it's nice to be cool <laughs> it has been very hot <laughs> and the kids are having fun. Uh, Wolfgang and Diane took us lots of places to show us just so many things that we needed to know and um, yeah, just helped us work out things that were different. Like, oh, so grateful for that. I think of all the kids um, with all the upheaval, Jessica definitely found it the hardest. It's only like two and a bit. She was out of routine, out of naps. She had no idea what was going on. It's like, okay, we were home and now we're like somewhere else and oh, we haven't gone back home yet. Like, you know, she doesn't know what's happening. So yeah, she was a little bit cranky here and there, but overall she was having a good time. The kids, um, and we were told that this was going to happen because the Thai people just love children. And for whatever reason, especially little white children, they are particularly fond of. And so the kids, had to very quickly get used to wherever they went they got a lot of attention especially Jessica now she did not appreciate that very much to start with especially she um, Jessica was my little COVID baby so she was born in December 2019 so <laughs> She grew up yeah, essentially isolated at home way more than what my other kids did. My other kids were so socialized. We were out a couple of times a week, if not every day sometimes. Whereas Jessica, like I didn't even take her to the supermarket when I went shopping most of the time. So she was not used to being around people outside of our family. And then all of a sudden everyone's looking at her and poking her and wanting to pat her and picking her up and taking photos of her and I think she found that a little bit overwhelming but I'm happy to say that she has now embraced this and she loves all the attention she's getting and I'm actually not sure how she's going to go when she gets back to Australia and she walks into a shop or a restaurant and not everyone dotes over her and takes photos with her. <laughs> 
the kids loved not having to wear seat belts and not having to be in car seats and things. And it's time to freak everyone out in Australia. Here's Jessica sitting on my lap in the front seat. And there's the kids in the back of the U. <laughs> this is how we roll in Thailand. <laughs> I actually loved that while we were driving and Jessica was um, a bit unsettled in this time that I could hold her on my lap and give her cuddles because yeah obviously you can't do that in Australia and it just was able, it was something I was able to do to just bring a little bit more comfort to her so that was good. But yeah overall our first week was really really good, very busy, very chaotic, a good start. and. Yeah, we also got to go out um, to the village and see what was going on out there and just learn more about the work that Wolfgang and Diane have been doing here for many, many years. So yeah, that was all just really interesting and great and exciting and you know, we're excited to be taking part in that and getting on board and helping with that and you know, um, getting different ideas of what sort of things we can do and how we can be useful and um, lots of unknowns, lots and lots of unknowns, <laughs> lots of expenses. Um, but yeah, overall a, a great experience. So that was our first week in Thailand. Ah! <laughs>